Well, the songs we're doing are on the albums called So and Us. Very creative names, Peter. Hi guys, welcome to Libre X. I hope everyone's having a good day. I know I am. Um, we finally got some rain where I'm at. It's raining as I speak. We've been like in a heat wave for the past two weeks and uh, finally getting some life, some nectar for the, you know, the earth. So I guess I also feel like I've gotten a little bit of nutrition somehow, I guess, because that heat and me do not mix i get so angry bro and my car does not have ac so it sucks uh so we're back of course with our spotlight artist of the month video sponsored by our alpha patron barry thank you of course barry for everything that you do my friend i truly appreciate you um the first song is mercy street and then uh you're gonna have to see what the next ones are well actually no i'm gonna put them in the title they're short so it's uh mercy street digging in the dirt live from the secret world tour and then don't give up with kate bush that's a pretty good lineup right there. Um, let's do it. And if you guys want to watch the previous videos, there's a whole playlist right there, Peter Gabriel. Uh, if you want to go listen to and watch the other videos after this one's done, I would uh, really appreciate it. And leave a like and a comment too if you don't mind. All right. Mercy Street by Peter Gabriel. Three, two, one, go. Oh, it's a foot? He's like, what the hell is that, dude? I believe this is off of So, and So is Sledgehammer, which is my favorite song, other than Put Your Hands On Me, or Lay Your Hands On Me, my bad. He's such a talented artist. Down on empty streets, all she can see are the dreams all made solid, are the dreams made real. All of the buildings, all of the cars were once just a dream in somebody's head. She pictures the broken glass, pictures the steam, she pictures the soul. The build up for this has been great. It's already two minutes in. Nowhere in the corridors, just starting. Pale green and gray. Nowhere in the suburbs, in the cold light of day. There in the midst of it, so alive and alone. Words support like bone. Dreaming of mercy. Yes, Tony. All the 
most secret things in a warm velvet box to the priest. He's the doctor. He can handle the shocks. Dreaming of the tenderness that tremble in the hips. videos are just insane, man. <laughs> he is so multifaceted, man. Like, it sounds nothing like anything else like that I've heard from him. It's crazy. felt like a dream even the video and everything just it's just like bits and pieces of things I'm with the father he's out in the boat riding the water riding the way it's very 80s on the sea wow that was a beautiful song I was not expecting it to be like that. I thought it was going to pick up like halfway through, but no. He he followed it all the way through. Digging in the Dirt Secret World Tour. This is another one that's been requested a lot. Hey. He's really 
really a true artist. Just F everything he does. This is off of us, right? Or so. Which one was it? Yeah. Ah, there she is. Yeah, this is off of us originally. Chapman stick is no joke, bro. Synchronicity is crazy. Man knows how to write a hit, bro. <laughs> he really does. Fourth or fifth, like that's crazy. From there to this, what an artist, man. This is definitely the trippiest live concert I've ever seen. This part. What the fuck? <laughs> Who picked this one? <laughs> I love it. I don't love that. Man, he ruled the 80s, didn't he? Like, his music sounds really 80s sometimes. Like, I don't know. Like, he was a huge trendsetter for that whole era. Not even counting Genesis. Just his solo stuff. Don't Give Up featuring Kate Bush.
And this is off of us as well. we've listened to from this album are very video too. Moved on to another town. Tried hard to Not in a bad way, down. you know, frugal. Thank you. 
Mm-hmm. Our birth about to open up. Give us something at the end. It's in a very soothing three songs, other than digging in the dirt, I guess. Good. Simple thing thing. Mm. Wow. Just fades out. That's it. I guess because they were longer songs, we only did three this week. That's cool with me because um, though that, that really showed his pop sensibilities quite well, I think. Um, the uh, though Digging in the Dirt's a little different. I'd say the first and the third song, um, they definitely, they were from the same album and it sounds like it. Uh, they kind of have some consistencies, but in the sound at least. But overall, it's very, you know... Um, I don't know, positive and like lovey, but there's like, you know, there's depth and nuance to it. Like it always is with Peter. And um, like I said, he's a true artist, man. He's just like ahead of the curve in so many things like that whole uh, digging in the dirt, secret world, you know, live thing with the, I guess you had the camera in his face and all that. And I don't know if they pre-recorded everybody else's camera shots and then he, only he had the camera on stage live because it didn't look like any of them had the same like gear on. So I don't know, but it still was really cool. That was honestly one of the coolest live things I think I've ever seen. He, um, he really pulled out all the stops for that tour, man. Cause, uh, the, all the videos we've watched from that tour have been fantastic. And they're all their own thing. It's their own set. You know, it's their own little world. Basically. I think that's so cool. It's like a secret world. There you go. Um, <laughs> it was uh mercy street though. Um, I'm not going to lie. It wasn't my favorite Peter Gabriel song. Um, I thought it was a little, I thought if he had opened it up and done something, I don't know, else other than that, just ma- main line that just went through the whole song. You know, I, um, I would have liked it a lot more. I think, uh, maybe I'm missing some context or nuance, you know, something from it. I don't know. Um, it was still a really good song. It was very somber and soothing, you know? Um, but it wasn't my favorite out of all the ones, to be honest. Um, I definitely like digging in the dirt. That was absolutely killer. And then when Paula comes in at the end and starts, you know, the, like the mini duet with him, beautiful. And then he's got a duet with Kate Bush right afterwards. Peter, come on, bro. <laughs> he's a lucky dude, man. He's always around <laughs> the prettiest girls with the best voices, man. I think that's amazing. Um, damn hair. Uh, I think they're. Uh, it's such a shame what happened on the tour with her because. They, they, they work together so well. They have so much chemistry. Just the way they look each other in the eyes and do their thing and all that when they're singing and walking towards each other. Not exactly in this one, but even they actually did have like a stare off, you know, kind of thing. And he's like, whoa, whoa, you know, the eyes are going crazy and stuff. But, you know, I, I, I no matter what he does, he's always going to try to do it the best way possible. He's going to excel in the most creative way possible. And uh, I think that's why people love him because he's himself and no matter what he does, he's always pushing the boundaries, trying to do something new, you know? And uh, he just did that with his last album, um, IO, that just came out. And we did a song from that last week. He's still making amazing music, you know? Right? And he's it was in 2023, I think it came out. I, I think that was the year. I don't think it was this year. I think it was last year it came out. And uh, it was just utterly fantastic, man. Like It's insane that he's been making that quality of music since the 1960s basically and i know i know he took a break for a little while i think in the 2000s if i remember correctly but that that's like how many decades six decades almost you know like that's that's absolutely crazy to me man and he deserves all the success in the world i think he influenced the 80s sound so much because everything i hear from him that was like from uh because what what year was this one let me see all right, so for so that came out uh, 1986. Um, da, 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 da. All right, so the people for that. All right, so obviously Peter Gabriel. What track is it though? 
Um, Mercy Street is track six. All right, so Peter Gabriel on um, vocals, obviously. Uh, the CMI, um, the Yamaha CS80. Um, Tony Eleven. Actually, no, he wasn't on that track. Um, no, David Rhodes. No, Mano. So basically, that was just Peter and that one guy. Oh, uh, Mark Rivera on the processed saxophone. That's a new one. Uh, Richard T on the piano. Larry Klein on the bass. That's it. Uh, it's from Mercy Street. Um, like I guess that would, I wouldn't say it was my favorite song for, by his, but I see why people would like it, you know? But it's just not my the style, I guess, or like my cup of tea whatever, for you Brits, you know? It's not my cup of tea exactly. Um, but I can see the power and just like the almost catharsis you can get from that song. Um, and Sledgehammer is from this album too. I, I love that song so much. In Your Eyes was too. Man, he had some hits on that album. <clears throat> All right, so... Don't Give Up was on the album So, obviously. See, it says that, but then if you go to this album So, it's not on there. Oh, yes, it is. Don't Give Up. Oh, did I just not see it? Hold on, track listing. Yeah, Don't Give Up. Oh, it's track one on side three. Okay. So, yeah, I, that was my favorite Mercy Street, but out of all those three, I'd say that, you know, Digging in the Dirt was awesome. The, the whole performance is, you know, just <laughs> how do you top that? You know, I mean, not even top that, but like who thinks of that? You know, like that's so cool. Obviously, nowadays you have GoPros and whatever. People have done that and copied that to death. I don't know if he was the first person to do it, but it wouldn't surprise me if he was. Um, and uh, we'll just I'm just going to I just sing his praises. That's <laughs> that's what happens when we do these videos with him, man. It's just he does everything so well. And he's a part of well, he was a part of one of my favorite bands that I found on this channel. Uh, with music that I visit uh, almost every day, probably. And he's just one of a kind, man. No, there's nobody in his league, you know? He's playing in his own league by himself, basically. And, you know, he may not be the most talented in this or that, but it's just the creativity and the passion he brings to it. Because I think he has an actual true love of music, you know? Uh, to, like, this deepest well of his soul. He loves music, and that's what he wants to do, is help people through music and through whatever he can. Because I know he's a philanthropist, philanthropist as well gotta slow down for that one um yeah and then uh those are don't give up with the uh, yeah, kate bush um i liked it i like the ending i i want like i said the same thing goes for the first and the third track you know they were very soothing um very pretty very 80s mid 80s you know um but you know it, i'm not gonna lie to you that wasn't they weren't they're not my favorites but i still enjoyed them you know they're definitely a good listen uh, but I wouldn't put them, you know, on my playlist to listen to again, probably, to be honest, other than digging in the dirt. Because, um, you know, it it honestly did make me very reflective and sad, but just not in a, I don't know, not in a way that I could get anything out of it. You know, if you know what I mean, like it, it just honestly made me kind of somber, you know, and there was no like lesson to glean from it. It's just that's what the song was, you know. Uh, but I mean, that's there's plenty of songs like that. And that's happened to me before on here, you know, but. Definitely digging in the dirt. That's the one I'd go with is my favorite. Um, Manu was just killing it up there. And then, of course, Tony is just a killer as well, man. Like, they really are. He just surrounds himself with the best of the best, man. And, they're, like, sometimes they're random people. Not random people. You know what I'm saying? But just from all over the genres. Like, he doesn't just pick people from prog or rock. You know, he goes to world music, reggae, you know, R&B. He just picks people this the best for their job you know and uh he likes to experiment and do different like you know countries music as well and incorporating it into his pop music that he does and i think it's a very smart idea man the world music and pop is a very good mix you know i, I he does it very well there's some artists that don't you know i like the one toto song but i don't know if they always that that's their usual sound you know but the one that everybody knows it, that's another kind of world poppy song. And I think there's a lot of those in the 80s. And I think that's cool, man. That was just the style of it back then. And then the 90s hit. And then <laughs> it was to the grunge factory after that, baby. Let's go. <laughs> uh, so, yeah, thank you, Barry, for this, as always, my friend. Um, I'm going to miss the Spotlight Artist of the Month videos. Uh, Barry's taking a break from doing them. So if anyone wants to uh, pick up the reins and, you know, do the Spotlight Artist of the Month and, you know, get your dance and your praises every, you know, every week, basically, um, let me know in Discord or Patreon message, you know, and uh, we can work it out. And if not, then we'll just uh, put it on ice for a little while. But uh, we still got one week left to go for this one, and I will see you all next week for this one.
I will see you guys next week for that one. Get your shit straight, son. Patreon, right here. Oh, yeah, that's a Patreon. That's a Patreon picture. Um, there's a link in the description. Uh, join the fifteen dollar tier up for this last month only, and you get one free request a month. Uh, there's also a PayPal as well in the description if you want to send a tip or a request in that way. And um, that's it. Thanks for watching. Go.